So I eat a lot of cauliflower like all y'all, <laughs> but I'm going to make my favorite cauliflower dish. And it's not something I created. I have to give credit where credit is due. This dish, um, my interpretation of it, but this dish was first experienced by my wife and I when we were in Indianapolis in 2019. And we went to this restaurant called Bluebeard. And it was so damn good. We went back two nights in a row. Um, just phenomenal food. The chef, I have to say her name is Abby Maris. She's the one that started it. I have to let her know and let you all know that if you're ever there, you have got to go to this restaurant. She is absolutely brilliant. Some of the most incredible food I've ever had. Everything that was served came with emotion. I mean, it, you know, it was perfectly done. Everything was just, you know, technically proficient, everything else. But this is what I'm always talking about. You could taste her in the food. That's what kicked it up to another level. So when I sat there and I had this cauliflower dish, I immediately was transported back to when I was a child and uh, New Year's Eve's with this dish that we used to have in the family to celebrate New Year's. And the two just came together and it's, it's just an emotional thing for me. So now it's my favorite cauliflower dish. So this is not her recipe. I don't have her recipe, but um, I've sort of deconstructed it, and this is my interpretation of it. So um, here we go. We're going to do cauliflower banya cauda. We're going to make the uh, banya cauda butter. Banya cauda is a northern Italian dish from Piemonte, and it's, which is where my, my dad's side of the family comes from. And it is a basically a, um, a hot oil and butter fondue, if you can <laughs> picture that. Uh, and Obviously, when I tasted this dish, it, I, I'm like, oh my God, it's called cauliflower banya cauda. And I know why now. It's just, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, anyway, we have the butter. We have some shallot. We have two or three anchovy fillets. And I like garlic. So we're going to put in some garlic. I'm just going to crush it. Put it in there. Put it in there. I'm gonna hold off on the parsley right now because I want to get this going. And you wanna make sure that you get this as smooth as possible. You don't want really big chunks of anchovy or garlic or shallot. You want it to get as fine as possible in there. So take your time pureeing it. Okay. Now I'm gonna, I don't know if she does this, but I think so, <laughs> but I think it works anyway. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil because in banya cauda, you have olive oil. I'm gonna add maybe two or three tablespoons. That'll help loosen it up as well. Okay, now we've got anchovy in there, but I'm still gonna put a little bit of salt, okay? And a good amount of black pepper. I'm gonna give it one more whirl. Now it's spinning. And then I'm gonna finish it by putting in a little bit of the parsley. So probably one, two tablespoons in this amount. And I'm gonna save the rest for later. One more scrape. And we're done. This is what you're looking for. Put that aside. Now we're gonna do the cauliflower. So here I have one uh, head of cauliflower. And sometimes when you buy a head of cauliflower, you get these little, you know, you'll have these little black spots on it. So don't worry about that. Just kind of get a little paring knife and scrape them off. Sort of like rice cauliflower there now. <laughs> okay, we don't need that. All right. Now, once you're ready to go, flip that guy upside down, take a little paring knife, and cut around like you're coring it. And just pull that thing out there. That's the core right there. And then take all these leaves 
out of the picture. So now here's the core of the cauliflower, and from the core, you can see all the little stems coming out towards the flowers. These are the flowers, right, the florets. So now, once you've gotten the larger portion of the core out, or the base, go ahead and start cutting around that core again. But this time, instead of removing just the core, you're gonna be, the flowers, you see that, are gonna be popping off. See that? That's how it's structured. Everything's coming off the central core. So just take your knife and follow around. So what we wanna do is cut them into edible sized portions. Some will break off a little smaller, that's totally fine. This is not gonna be a perfectly perfect looking kind of thing. Now, banya cauda, like I was saying earlier, is a Piemontese dish that's usually made around the holidays and for New Year's. And it's a hot bath, banya, meaning bath, cauda, meaning hot. There's, there's one head of cauliflower, okay? I have a roasting pan, or I should say um, a sheet pan in the oven that I've been preheating at 450 degrees. I have two sheet pans together to prevent it from warping from the high temperature. So what I'm gonna do is put them right on here. And sprinkle, or I should say drizzle, with some oil. You hear that already? You hear it? It's already starting to sizzle because it's so hot. Some salt, pepper, and then I'm just going to spread it out. And the more spread out it is, the browner they'll get because you get air circulation. See, it's already sizzle. Your food talks to you. Stick that in the oven and let her rip until she's nice and brown. <laughs> okay. It really helps when you preheat the pan. So there's the cauliflower. And while it's nice and hot, we're gonna take some of this incredible banya cauda butter and toss it so that the butter melts. Now the butter's melted, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it with some capers, some sultanas or golden raisins, some toasted hazelnuts. You can use pine nuts if you want, but the hazelnuts go well really well. I like to put a little bit of parsley. Mint, that's the kicker. Cold mint, just like kind of do that type of thing. Isn't that pretty already, just like that? Look at that, look at those colors. You've got sweet, you've got salt, you've got that nice creamy richness from the butter. This makes an amazing side dish. It also makes a really nice appetizer or starter. It makes a great entree while the butter needs to melt if it's cold, right? So that's why you want it at room temperature. Just a little bit of Parmesan. Now you can do um, shavings of Parmesan or you can do grated Parmesan. And that's it. Does that look good or does that look good? And actually quite, um, quite, quite tasty. Okay, I already know what this is gonna taste like, but I gotta taste it again, because I just love this dish. If you're in Indianapolis and you wanna get some great food, go to Bluebeard and see Chef Abby. She is just all that in a bag of chips, I gotta tell you. Um, please write in. Um, you can download the recipe, like, because I like you. Uh, subscribe and um, definitely share, because look at this. She's in Indianapolis making stuff over there at a restaurant. It had such an impact on me. I'm now making it out here in California, and I'm sharing with everybody else I know. That's what it's all about. Yum, it's good.